Hello angels. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a different type of video. This is more of an interior design kind of vibe. I picked out the perfect wallpaper for my room and I picked it out kind of a while ago and I was kind of waiting on when would be the right time to put it up and I decided it's right now is the right time. So I thought I would share the journey with you guys. I know that everyone loves DIY vibes, or at least I do. So I'm going to be doing this project with my dad um, and we're going to see if we can figure it out. I hope we can because the wallpaper is not cheap. So there is no room for screwing this up. But if you want to see the journey on how we do this, then keep watching. This all initially started at the paint store when I was there for my studio. I ended up stumbling upon a wallpaper that I completely fell in love with. Welcome to my bedroom. This wall is where we're going to be putting all of the beautiful wallpaper. And I picked it out specifically based on the colors in my room. It's all very neutral, but right here I have this green chair that I've brought with me over many years. I picked this as a child and I still am so obsessed with it. So it, you'll see the greens reflected in that wallpaper. In the summertime, obviously there are leaves on the trees and you see the beautiful blue from the water. So all of that is gonna be picked up in the wallpaper, which is gonna go on this wall. So here is the wallpaper that I chose. I will be unraveling it, but I just want you to see that it has the hints of blue and green. So really looking forward to putting this up and seeing how it looks. First things first, I went out and got some supplies. So we definitely needed a level. We needed tape and X-Acto to make sure that everything was gonna run smoothly. This tool to smooth out the wall and cut. And this was the most important thing, this continuous spray bottle. And you'll see where that comes in. Now comes the fun part. I had to clear out my whole room and thankfully I had help from both of my parents. This is just so that we had ample space to actually put up the wallpaper. And again, it's gonna be on the wall behind the bed. This was the perfect opportunity to get into those little crevices and clean up and bam. <laughs> Once we laid this paper on the floor, we unraveled our wallpaper and began spraying it evenly all throughout. Next, we folded the wallpaper and let it sit for a few minutes so that that glue would get nice and tacky and ready to apply. The trickiest parts were aligning the corners and my dad did a great job at doing this and there he is using that tool. My ring light ended up coming in handy so that it could brighten the area, allowing me to see any air bubbles. And this was imperative. I had to smooth all of them out and this was probably the most time consuming part of the whole project. We basically had to repeat this smoothing process with every single panel that we laid out and trust me, it was definitely worth it. Also aligning the panels was a little bit of a challenge as well, but we got the hang of it, I think within the first two panels, two, three panels. Of course, I had to give you guys a little time-lapse action. If only it were that easy. I was beyond excited to get everything back into the room. So we lifted everything back in and I began dressing my bed. And this is just going to bug me for the rest of the video. I basically put the pillows just a little bit off center to the right. And I cannot unsee it once you've seen it. Uh, but keep in mind, I was just trying to be quick here because I was just so excited. I wanted to see the final result immediately and I'm a little impatient. What's really nice about this footage is you get to see how each part of the room just comes together as I add each individual element. What I really had to adjust to was the quote unquote busyness of this pattern because my room was just so basic before, but I actually have fallen completely in love with it. Here's what it looked like the next morning and I think it is stunningly beautiful. I'm so happy with the result. And that concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I also have a tutorial on this hairstyle, so check it out. I'll link it right here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.